Good afternoon and welcome to another afternoon tea. I hope you're all doing well out there. This week I just wanted to talk about the love of God and uh, it's something I heard on a, a teaching video uh, a, a few weeks ago and I just can't get it out of my head and I just really want to share it with you. It's about the love of God and how special we are to him. You know, when I was uh, younger, we, when we played football, we would all stand against the wall so that the captains would take turns to pick a team. Although I was never the last pick, I was definitely not the first. I always wanted to feel special and be the first picked. But I was just one of those guys, the mediocre people who sort of get picked somewhere along the line, but not quite last. Mr. Average, you could say. When God chose us to be his, it wasn't because we were the only ones left and he had to make the team numbers up. He chose us and loves us and thinks the world of us. And this is the verse that I heard the other day and it just so hit my heart and you know how sometimes bible verses you just can't get out of yourself and god just puts them in there and, and keeps bringing you back to them well this is one of these verses revelations 2 17 but the one whose heart is open let him listen carefully to what the spirit is presently saying to all the churches to everyone who is victorious i will let him feast on the hidden manna and give him a shining white stone and written upon the white stone is inscribed his new name known only to the one who receives it and that's the idea of being given a stone with this new name on that's what really excited me you know um maybe you've got a special name for a, a partner a pet name or a child or a very close friend even and that's like that isn't it when we get that new name it's going to sum us up perfectly and only you and Jesus are going to get it are going to understand it and why he's called you that and I think as soon as we see that name we're just going to go oh wow yeah wow that so sums me up isn't it brilliant that God has got a special name for you that he just wants to call you by? A pet name, if you like. Doesn't that speak of his love for you? As, as I've often said before, if you feel like the odd one out, the one that never gets picked, I'm saying to you, you're the odd one in. God thinks you're so special, so loved, that he died for you. And if we accept that sacrifice and end up as this passage says, everyone who is victorious, I'll let him feast on the hidden manna. But we don't even have make the victory ourselves because it was Jesus who gave us the victory as well how fantastic is that Jesus has won our victory for us by dying on the cross what love what amazing love I, I, I don't know how to express it even because it's so exciting that depth of love he has for us a depth of love that drove him to the cross and then he's got a special name for us. He hasn't just ignored us after the death of his son. He wants to be involved in our lives. He loves us so much. Let's just open our hearts to him more today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your amazing love for each one of us that just keeps on going, keeps on giving. And his slow to anger and quick to forgive 
just thank you Lord and just pray that we would grow in that love and know that love more and that love would be infectious in our own hearts that we would catch that love and pass it on to others we ask this in your holy and special name amen so thank you for joining me and and i hope you just keep looking at that revelations 2 17 and i hope it grabs you like it grabbed me so see you soon god bless